let's take for example getting out of our way and doing not doing nothing. What I mean by doing nothing is getting out of the way of the body's nat natural modalities or methods of healing. So for example, what do we call a cold? Well, I got a, I got a stuffed up nose, it's running, my throat is sore, I've got a temperature, fever, and I feel achy all over. What, what we've learned to do here in the West is let's get rid of those symptoms. Let's take a pill that will dry the nose up, let's do something to get rid of the aches and pains, let, you know, all the things that we're going to do that we want to get rid of, what we don't realize is that mucus is produced by mucus glands that we have all over our body. They're all over our trachea, up into there, and they're, they, and they're, they're, us, they're on little hairs that are, that are like a conveyor belt going outward to get rid of things. We need the mucus. The mucus is the way that things are bound and captured and expelled. They detoxify. So what are we going to do? We're going to get rid of the mucus, which is necessary to... So the, it's just, again, it's our misunderstanding that the body really knows what it's doing. And it's, it's not that we're going to let nature fix our body. Our bodies are nature. They are fixing themselves. They're self-healing mechanisms. They will fix themselves. They're going to produce mucus. Now, these aches and pains are really important because these aches and pains all over are telling us that there's inflammatory reactions are going on. Now, inflammation is the fundamental way in which healing occurs. The four cardinal signs of inflammation are red, hot, painful, and swollen. So you bang your finger, it gets hot, red, swollen, painful, and in three or four days, it's back to normal. And that's when these, what we call symptoms and signs, which we arrogantly put into a framework and call a diagnosis, are just parts of an entire process. That's the antithesis of, of nature. Nature wants it to swell and heal. And we know that. If we, what's very interesting is if we, if, we look at, if, uh, if we look at the cytokines and interleukins produced by an inflamed joint, those are the same cytokines and interleukins we find in a tumor. Okay, so tum that's why cancer has been called the wound that wouldn't heal. Okay? It's inflammatory cytokines. So inflammation is necessary for healing. That's why we have two fats that are essential, essential fatty acids, omega-3s and omega-6s. The omega-6s become arachidonic acid and produce inflammation. The omega-3s become eicosapentaenoic acid, EPA, and they are anti-inflammatory. You've got to have a balance, just like our blood. We have a balance of clotting and dissolving clots. Because you bang yourself, you got to clot immediately, but you, if you keep clotting, you're going to wind up dead. So you got to stop the clot. So in our body, every part of our body is yin and yang. There's opposites that are, that are working. Inflammation, the fundamental way we heal. What we don't want is chronic inflammation. Because chronic inflammation in my coronary arteries results in a heart attack. Up here, it results, results in a stroke. But why am I having chronic inflammation? Because inflammation is the body's response to an irritation. If I keep banging my finger, I'm going to get a chronic inflammatory response. If I keep smoking, I'm going to get a chronic inflammatory response. If I keep eating poisons, I'm going to get a chronic inflammatory response. So what we have to do is stop the irritation to, the, to produce chronic inflammatory response. But acute inflammation is necessary. Now, ice is a mechanical way of anti-inflammatory. It's certainly better than Tylenol. It's certainly better than Advil, right? It's a mechanical way. It hurts something let it swell. If you got a fever, put blankets around you and sweat it out. You know, Coley's toxin, he used to inject killed bacteria to cause people to have sweats. And he had an, he has 70 years of healing, of healing from stage four sarcomas. So heat, temperature, swelling, all the things that we call inflammation,